Obviously, I wouldn't have been smoking when I played this as a kid. Don't smoke for fuck's sake. Uh, one of these. Oh, crap. Okay, we'll leave him as. So that must be his colour. Here we go, level one. Here we go. I'm playing. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know how bad or good football teams are relatively. Iconic game. Oh, crap. Joystick is in the wrong port, isn't it? Ooh, well, they're, they're not too bright then, are they? Because they didn't come and take the ball off me. I was just standing there having a fucking smoke. Imagine that on a real football pitch. Definitely not uh, a two player game. Yeah, look at that goal! Goal! Woo! Got to run around smashing everything up. Yeah, dream on, mate. These are not AVGN videos. Yeah, you know, oh bloody hell, all oh, bloody hell's going up there, isn't it? Uh, whoever touched that would have fucking... Ah, well, it's all worked out for the best. Ah, classic, mate, classic. 1983 afternoons, kicking a footballer back. In your bedroom. Look at that goal. Oh, that was just... Ah, that's Brazilian. Are Brazil still good at football? I don't know. They were when I was a kid. That's what I remember from the World Cup. Of course, this is much better than uh, World Cup Carnival. I mean, to really play this, I can't believe that uh, soccer on the television is actually... Look, they can head that fucking ball and everything. It's fucking brilliant, mate. The only thing is you can't select uh, your character. I mean, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it, mate? What the hell was that guy? Yay! What the hell was the goalie doing there? He's obviously having a smoke as well. <coughs> so yeah, you obviously would have played this two player mostly. Uh, but when you first got it, if you know, if your mates were not eating or whatever. I see that it probably wouldn't happen because I wouldn't buy a game on a school day. I just didn't have the money. I got me pocket money on a fucking Saturday morning and it was gone within, well, how quickly could I walk to the market basically and spend it on a computer game? Because I did actually get uh, some money uh, to spend on sweets in the week. Sweets, crisps, drinks. Because for some reason our school was on strike as far as the dinner ladies were concerned, so there was no school dinners. We had to buy our school lunch uh, from outside shops. Oh, I'm slaughtering them, mate. I'm sorry, but uh, I just haven't got any football team references. I know absolutely nothing about football. So, this is how you would have played it, level one, if you were playing it by yourself. So, it's a hollow victory, because, you know, they're obviously not very good at all. I'm not particularly good, I'm, I don't think I'm any good at this game, and they're absolutely useless compared to me. It's 4-0, they haven't scored a single goal. I remember the advert for this game, they had like pixelated uh, cartoon version of the characters, massive fucking big blocky things, and one of them was the goalie like going at a, a fucking angle, 45 degree angle, jumping for the ball, and I think there was like those stupid motion lines, 
I'm going the wrong way, am I? I am going the wrong way. You see, I told you I'm not good at this shit. Just kick the ball on their side. You feel like you're doing something. Now, who kicked it that way? Was it him? No, oh, the ref's blinder than me, mate. For fuck's sake. So, the basic thing is, when you have the ball, you can't run as fast, which is where the passing comes into it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you could have you could have fucking got the ball, man. Yeah, cheers, thanks for passing it to me. So that was a picture like this. And, uh, get the ball in. Yeah, no, this was as much fun as playing speedball to two player with your mates. Ooh, half a decade later, more than half a decade, I think. I used to play speedball on the Amiga a lot as a two player game. Hardly ever played it as a one player game. But I think on the C64 I would have played this as a one player game because I had this game really early uh, and it was on a tape someone gave to me at school quite early in 1983 so the beginning of 1983 <laughs> Oh man, no! Well you get to see a goal kick Got to turn every negative into a positive, man. Ooh, ooh, how the hell? That's some Darren Brown shit there. Now, Paul Daniels, mate. Whee! So, it's very playable. It's not particularly uh, amazing. <laughs> own goal! Oh, my word, this is own goal. Is there a team entirely made up of Kramers from Seinfeld or Georgian Kramer? That's Andy Harry. Oh, bounced off him. So, I mean, the basics are there, right there from the very early start. C64. This game was a cartridge game. I had it on a tape which had a, a few copied cartridge games, which I was never going to buy. Uh, I bought a C64 on because the games were like fucking five times cheaper than the VCS 30 pound shit. I could actually do that. Ah, shall I let him score? Yeah, go on, let's be nice. See if you can score, mate. I'm doing nothing now. I'm not touching the joystick. So he took the ball there, he just left it there. I'm going to try it on level eight now. And he managed to put the ball out the fucking... What can you say, mate? Maybe uh, the other team is made up of uh, human imposters who don't understand football at all. Like in The Thing. Oh, I've got to watch The Thing again, but... Fucking projector's broken. But I think I'm going to plump for the HD one because it's only... Uh, it's only 50% more. And the, uh, the other one is really good really bright actually 3800 lumens but the HD and he's only like 250 quid in uh, curries if they got any in stock uh, but the HD one is like basically 110 quid more something like that so yeah it's, uh, it's a small price to pay actually because a cheap one does 800 by 600 fantastic picture quality but it's a 4 to 3 projector and it's a very large screen even from like you know yeah your average living room I reckon um, and it projects nicely onto a, a wall with uh, you know a painted wall it don't have to be white at all in fact you should do a medium grey uh, let's watch the game playing itself. Obviously, it's going to play itself as good as it can. And he bloody did it good. Now, the goalie there, the goalies are shit. They're certainly not Pat Jennings. See, I remember Pat Jennings from the 70s. I couldn't tell you what team he was playing for. 
Now she I don't know to talk to my Arsenal, Liverpool. Would it have been something like that? I can't remember who was a uh, top dog. I don't think Pat Jennings football game ever happened. Bless him. I think there should have been one. But yeah, this game is a hell of a lot more sophisticated than real sports soccer <coughs> on the VCS. <coughs> and it's more sophisticated than the uh, football game on the uh, in television, which may or may not be two player only on the Intellivision Lives PS2 uh, disc it is marked as two player only and I remember it on some TV show where two people used to play that game as some sort of challenge very early show before anything else I can't remember what that show was it, was, it wasn't about computer games it was just that was just a section of it wasn't about arcade games either. It was possibly some sort of quiz go show. Don't think it was a Krypton pack. So yeah, that goalie's woken up now. Yeah, obviously it's fucking. Yeah, I reckon I would have just sat there and watched this playing itself, just in fascination. I mean, give me a break. It was only like really my first six months of owning a home computer at all. First nine months of ever getting to like mess about on one, which was a ZX81. Uh, it was a computer club run by my physics teacher, Mr. Williams, bless him. He looked exactly like Jimmy Carter, I swear to God. Um, but very, very polite, quiet sort of man. Uh, the school had provided us with about eight ZX81s. Um, this was before we actually got the, you know, the government scheme BBC Micro things coming in. So I, the, the, this was the first. And um, he brought in his own ZX Spectrum and he used to hand out photocopies of, uh, you know, typing listings of games for the ZX81. Uh, he'd be on his ZX Spectrum doing the same sort of thing, typing like listings from magazines or just generally trying it, not loading games though. I don't think there was like any commercial games being loaded there. So it was fairly serious. And programming a computer was a science back then, you know, it was a genuine science subject, not like today. Today, you know, computer fucking studies is probably how to turn on Windows, how to get the uh, menu up so you can safe boot Windows if it doesn't load, how to use a web browser, how to use Microsoft Cock Office. Sorry, office cock. Um, yeah, it's just not the same. And the Raspberry Pi, as admirable as it is, I don't think it came with basic or anything like that. It really, it would never be the same. I'll have to check what the first Raspberry Pi was released with as uh, because it was heralded as the next BBC Micro for schools, you know, try and get kids to uh, learn programming again. But, you know what, if you want to get kids to learn programming, just give them a, a computer with a good basic that actually allowed you to use the features of the computer, including any graphical and audio uh, functions. So I want a C64, Amstrad CPC and a ZX Spectrum, that would be laser basic, BBC has a pretty good basic built in, uh, although graphics, you're going to need machine code on a BBC, there's no hardware graphics at all, yeah forget the built in basics, so if you gave someone something like that, 
and they they were really fascinated by it. They would actually, same as you as a kid, they would actually um, learn, the, you know, the tech specs, start reading about what the commands do, and then because they would want to make their own games, you know, show them something like this, like the first real football game. This is a bit of a coup for Commodore. This this was a bit of a killer app in the very early days. Kids like football. Most men like football. So, no, girls, I suppose they didn't really like football as much back in them days. Now that all the uh, footballers are like either troglodytes or male models, you can see why women get interested in it. You know, f films come out like Bend It, like Beckham, and it's two girls, I think, lead characters. Yeah, that goalie AI is not as good as the rest of it. The rest of it is really good on the demo. But yeah, this probably sold a fair few C64s. I remember it was probably running in places like Beats or Lasky's uh, because they can uh, just plug the cartridge in, they don't have to load fuck all. So they, they only need a C64 taken out of the box to demo. You know. And I think people would have bought a C64. You can get a football game like this on the ZX Spectrum. You just couldn't. And this game is not brilliant. But context, everything is about context. As I was saying to Main Meister with a gatekeeping thing, sure, you know, millennials can play this game and give their opinion. And I've got no problem with that. But they can't say it's a shit game because they don't know what it was like back in 1982, early 1983, when this was one of the options. The other options was in television soccer and uh, VCS Real Sports Soccer, which was actually good for the uh, VCS, but then again, they just instantly say it's inferior to this. But this is shit anyway. And uh, that's the thing, really. And what Andrew could have done here is when the demo is going on, <coughs> He could have like randomly selected skill level one to eight, uh, one between eight for each of the sides. So the score wouldn't be three, three. For some reason, there's no glue. Not a Tottenham Hotspur fan in uh, Andrew. Now we're gonna see what the computer does. If I do fuck all, Oh, you can have the uh, black and white as well. I'll leave it on black and white now. Uh, well, that's a bit stupid. <laughs> the pitch is still in green and the border's still blue. How odd. Yeah, okay, that's... Uh, all right then, mate. They're only using uh, white, black and one grayscale. So they could have used different grayscales for the others. Hmm. The green is probably uh, 53281. So they can definitely score by themselves on level 8. They're, they're fairly good. So yeah, whack this up to level 8, 1983. If you understood what your options were to play a football game on a computer in 1983, you would say this is brilliant. It is probably not quite worth the uh, £30 because of the cartridge, might have been 25 They then did a skinnier version of the cartridge, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the skinny box is the only one. I'm sure I've got a large box. But, uh, yeah, so that's the point. They can't really appreciate the games, and if you can't, understand the technical aspect of what a machine can and cannot do for any given time 
So, you know, a racing game after Lotus uh, Esprit came out. That's basically going to be rated a lot more harshly than one before that came out. That's just the way it is. So, for this period, this is good, very good for the C64. Don't moan the players are blocky. They use the expanded sprites. You get eight sprites, they're using them well. Maybe they could have done the ball as a non-expanded sprite. I'm not sure about that. But uh, Emlyn Hughes International Soccer takes this to another level. And that's about it. I don't really know of any other C64 football games I like. Side on the view. So, yes. Uh, right, we're going to have to go with Load Runner now. Oi! I bet you're thinking, fucking, took you long enough. Waffled on for fucking hours, you prick. Yeah, mate, that's what makes a difference. This is about memories. Playing the C64 is about memories for me. Recovering lost memories. So, you have to listen to me talk about this bullshit from the past. You old fart mad come.